Adam Lavelle, WrestlingDoneRight.com, home of the NOAA Network. We're continuing our coverage here of Sunny Voyage Pro Wrestling NOAA, September 21st, 2024. This was the sixth match, and it was a six-man tag team match extraordinaire, if you will. We saw the national champion, Manabu Soya, teaming with the GHC Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, Hayata and Yohei, to force of the Rattels. They took on their number one contenders. That's right. I'm talking about Alhijo del Dr. Wagner Jr., the number one contender to Soya's national championship. And then we saw Atushi Kotogi and Hajime Ohara, the number one contenders to Hayata and Yohei's Jr. Tag Team Championship. This match was everything you would expect. It started, of course, with Dr. Wagner and Manabu Soya getting in each other's faces. These two just want to destroy each other for that national title. And they kicked the match off to a pretty much a stalemate. They both fell into each other, ran into each other, did everything they could to bulldoze the one another over. Uh, Wagner did get one up on him, causing Manabu Soya to actually roll out of the ring in frustration that, his, that um, Wagner's shoulder block knocked him down. They got into a test of strength with pretty much was even keel, but Wagner, to his credit, did back Soya up into his corner, which allowed uh, Hayata to tag in unbeknownst to uh, Dr. Wagner Jr. Now, unlike a lot of American wrestling, you will see hot spot tags in uh, Pureso, in Pro Wrestling Noah, in New Japan, and other places. But a lot of the times, the tags are driven by matchups. Like, yes, Wagner Jr. could have t tried to destroy Hayata, but he just casually walks over and tags Ohara him and hit, uh, in. And uh, Ohara and Hayata go at it. Ohara actually got the best of this as well. He really did, uh, taking advantage of, of Hayata several moves in a row until Hayata retreated outside the ring. And Ohara is on the middle turnbuckle, inviting him back in the ring. It then comes down to both of them tagging in other partners. Katogi came in to face Yohei. Yohei was sort of clowning. Not, not a comedy spot, but sort of wanting to lock up, wanting to do a test of strength, but constantly moving his hands. And I don't mean like up and down, up and down, how you see some tall wrestlers do with short wrestlers. But I mean, he's just sort of like moving, sliding, gliding all over the place. Katogi's getting somewhat frustrated with him. They finally get into a battle and Katogi lands a big headbutt on him. This eventually goes to the floor where Dr. Wagner actually holds Hayata up while Kotogi takes continuous shot at him. And then they take Yohei to the side of the ring and both Dr. Wagner and Ohara just sort of pull him, put him through the ropes and pull him back against the top rope. The way you see many heel stables do, both holding a, a maneuver on him and pulling him back as, as uh, Yohei grimaces and Wagner and Ohara celebrate. Honestly, the contenders were wrestling like heels here. And if they are heels, I don't know. That was kind of news to me. I, d I don't know who's a heel and who's a not and who's not here to tell you the truth. At this point, Katogi is in control of Yohei because he's been beaten down by Katogi's partners, right? And Katogi lands a big running penalty kick, but doesn't lead to the pinfall. And Yohei is up and nails a legitimate drop kick to the face of Katogi. Uh, Ohara gets back in, as does Hayata, and they go after it for a while until Katogi and Ohara team up and get uh, Hayata down. But Hayata does get Katogi into the corner. Uh, actually, it was Katogi who got Hayata into the corner and was prepared to do a move to him, some type of running maneuver. But Hayata got out of the way. Yohei saw this coming and charged the, on the ring apron and actually landed a big knee on Katogi's face. This eventually led to the two behemoths being back in the ring. I'm talking Do Dr. Wagner Jr. and Manabu Soya. And they again just beat each other down, including Manabu Soya landing his massive spear on Dr. Wagner Jr. But if you note here, Wagner pretty much was unaffected. He came out of that pretty solidly with no problem at all. But he did tag in Ohara, who was set to face Manabu Soya. He does get a good drop kick on him and shows some solid offense. But before you know it, Soya has him across his shoulders and delivers that big Death Valley driver. Dr. Wagner Jr. is back in the ring now. He's going to stop this. He's going to interfere. He's going to keep this you know, beat down from happening. But Soya clotheslines Wagner over the top rope, where Yohei and Hayata are out there already controlling Katogi. And now they're going to get their beat down on Dr. Wagner Jr., if you will, allowing Manabu Soya to land a massive, incredible-looking clothesline on Ohara. 
and he goes for the count, but picks him up at two and three quarters and shakes his head. No, no, I'm going to deliver my uh, sit down driver to this guy. I'm going to put this guy over my shoulder and I'm going to leap and sit down in a pile driver, a seated pile driver type of maneuver. That is, I think it's one of the tiger drivers. I'm not sure guys. I'm not Excalibur. I don't know the names to every one of these moves, but you'll see it in my sliding shots going by here. It was incredible looking and that definitely led to the pinfall with Soya staring directly into the eyes of El Hijo del Dr. Wagner Jr. as he tries to get in the ring and thwart this but Yohei and Hiata are not allowing it. Soya holds his national championship up after making the pin on Ohara 1-2-3 as um, Dr. Wagner's tending to Ohara, looking frustrated and getting back in the face of Soya until they're separated. And Hiata, Yohei, and Manabu Soya celebrate in the middle of the ring with their victory. A big win for these guys going in. This was sort of a double, a double preview. This is going into both of their title matches coming up very soon. The junior titles on the line again against Katoge and Ohara. And Manabu Soya defending against Dr. Wagner Jr. This was an excellent preview. This was an excellent match. My favorite thing about multi-person matches like six-man matches, is when the wrestlers don't bury the referee. And they did not do it here. They followed the tag team rules. Of course, all tag teams are going to sneak in here or there, try to get a shot and break up pins. But, I mean, they weren't all six in the ring all the time, not knowing who was legal and who was what it wasn't. They wrestled this by tag team rules, and that just makes all the difference in the world. So I really, really enjoyed this one.